Well, hi, everybody. Welcome to Nowy's Dive Team Report. I'm your host, Greg Martin. Hey, listen, before we kind of get started here, if you do enjoy the podcast, I'd ask that maybe you subscribe to iTunes and Google Play so that you don't miss a single episode of the Nowy Dive Team Report. And of course, please, if you like what you hear, be sure and give us a positive review. Hit that five-star rating. We'd sure appreciate that. We're going to get started this morning with uh, a guest from last week, actually. Uh, we understand that uh, now he's so busy with things these days that uh, last week when we talked to uh, communications coordinator Angie Cowan, uh, she just barely scratched the surface on some things. So I asked Angie to come back and talk some more. Hi, Angie. Hi, Greg. Hi, everybody. It's great to be here again. You just flew in and guys, your arms are tired. <laughs> That's right. We just had Beneath the Sea last weekend and Marine Careers Day and right in the midst of trade show season. Uh, so very exciting. Yeah, and uh, a lot of you folks are going to be uh, up here in the Pacific Northwest at the H2O show, so uh, come on up and say hi to us. I know that uh, we were talked with uh, Glenn Engstrom here uh, a couple of weeks ago, and Glenn was a part of the original Naui IQ, and he and I talked about that just briefly. And the the cool thing that Glenn alluded to at the time was that we're looking at bringing the IQ back. And that's what I wanted to talk with you about today was the NAWI IQ. I guess, first off, what is NAWI IQ? Well, that's a great question, Greg. Uh, it's got a couple different um, acronyms, either I-C-U-E or I-Q, like IQ in terms of smarts, because the overlying goal uh, when IQ was created was to make diving safer um, and smarter and sharing ideas. Uh, so back in the first one with Glenn uh, and his buddies back in the late uh, 1960s. Um, so it stands for International Conference on Underwater Education. Okay, so IQ. Yeah, see, I can handle that part. The IQ intelligence <laughs> part, no, I'm, I'm just not there. But but you guys are in the process of putting a, a brand new IQ together and um, Long Beach Scuba Show, right? Yeah, we're going to be holding the first, it's kind of a revamp, a uh, relaunch of the IQ. There's a lot of tradition and history there. And at the time, in the late 60s, it was the first of its kind. This was pre-DEMA, pre a lot of those large trade shows, and everyone came together, whether that's instructors, consumers, manufacturers, training agencies, came together for this event. And although it was hosted by NAWI members, it wasn't limited to NAWI. It was open to anyone in the industry who was interested in continuing education to diving, making it safer. And like you said, Glenn was part of that uh, four-man team the core of the four-man team who started the first one um, back in Santa Ana College hosted. Um, and uh, Art Ulrich was involved there, John Resick, and Larry Cushman. Um, we believe we're going to have a couple of those guys, Glenn and John, uh, special guests with us there during the weekend of the scuba show and the IQ events. Guys, that would be nice to have those guys uh, kind of a full circle thing to to bring the dive industry back around from the beginning days of the IQ to, to the relaunch now. Uh, talk a little bit about what folks uh, can expect when they come to the new IQ. Yeah, really quickly, though, you hit the nail on the head there, Greg, with the full circle thing, because it was interesting. I've been doing some other views, uh, interviews with some people who were really integral to some of those first IQs um, through the 60s, 70s, 80s. And they're bringing up names about the young 20 something innovators doing some of the seminars at these IQs. And wouldn't you know, one of those happens to be Dallas Edmiston, who is now our now executive director. Oh, that's fabulous. Uh, people, people like Dan or. Um, and, and all kinds of things. So it's it's real interesting um, to kind of see that story. And uh, I've really enjoyed that. So also, too, please look forward to future podcasts. And we're going to definitely follow up with some the proceedings and things after the event. But if you're going to be out in Long Beach, Southern California for the scuba show, uh, that'll be May 6th and 7th. Um, please come join us with your purchase of your passes to the floor of scuba show. You also will have entrance into both days of our seminars for IQ, which will be held that Saturday and Sunday. I like, We're also going to be... Yeah, I, 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 I like the idea that you're doing a kickoff kind of thing, too, on board the Queen Mary. That is, uh, that's an exciting place just to go and, and visit anyway. 
yeah, it'll be great on Friday to kick things off. And again, several of those special guests that I mentioned will be coming and be in attendance, as well as a lot of the first speakers who were part of those IQ shows will be out there. As you know, now we first started, our headquarters was based out in California. So a lot of our original NAWI members and longtime members are still out there and are, are really looking forward to coming and showing their support and seeing kind of the new NAWI and what NAWI is working on now. So a Friday at 6.30 p.m. aboard the Queen Mary, we're having that reception. It's just $30. And the best part about that, too, is that with that $30, you not only get a great time uh, with all of these Naui people, um, you also get a nice meal aboard the Queen Mary, and, you, and you're also getting a raffle ticket to enter uh, Atlantis Dive Week. Uh, we're giving away a live-aboard trip um, as well. Atlantis was kind enough to d donate that to us as a way to raise a little bit of funding uh, to, to kind of keep the get the IQ going uh, nice. for the weekend. So nice. yeah. you get a little bit of both on there. And a lot of that information is all available on our website, um, nawi.org slash about slash IQ, I-C-U-E. Okay. Okay. Now, I, I asked you about, you know, some of the things going on. And, of course, I jumped in and talked about the Queen Mary because I got so excited, which is the <laughs> way I am. But uh, what what's, uh, what's on the agenda, though, for the actual um, ICU IQ? Well, in bringing back, relaunching something that hasn't occurred since the year 2000, you know, there's a little bit of pressure on us. Um, back in the day, this was the event of all events. Everyone came, uh, all kind, like I said, everyone from across the industry. It was very innovative. I mean, the names that, that while I'm interviewing that are dropped are people like Jacques Cousteau, you know, and uh, Sylvia Earle and, and all these legends um, in the industry. And so now we're kind of just going to take things a little slow here for this first year and, and get things going. And this is definitely something we want to build on for future years. So whereas the IQs historically, they had a lot of seminars. They also included dive trips before and after the event, all types of social activities, um, a lot of workshops. There was always pool time integrated where you're really testing out equipment and trying these different ideas and different training methods. Um, so ours is not going to be quite that involved. I think holding it in conjunction with Scuba Show, we're going to be giving a lot to offer. And I think we're going to have a nice, add a nice compliment to the Scuba Show. So primarily this year, it'll be Saturday and Sunday filled with seminars. I believe we have uh, 12 presentations. A couple of those are, are going to be co-presenters. Everything from, you know, diving and engaging the next generation with Jonathan Bird, Jeff Bozanek, who was another one of those that was mentioned in my interviews about being one of those young 20-somethings who's really, you know, helped to change the industry. He's going to be talking about his time with rebreather testing in Antarctica. Uh, we've got all types of um, dive medicine. We have a few talks about that. Bruce Winky and Tim O'Leary will be there talking about deep stop training. I mean, you name it. And we've got the full list of speakers uh, listed on our website as well. It sounds like it's the perfect place to make sure that you're heading for in uh, the first part of May. Uh, Long Beach Scuba Show is, is always a great show out here on the, uh, the, the West Coast. And to wrap IQ into that, I think is just a stroke of genius for everybody and uh, looking forward to it. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to attend this year, but I'm looking at my calendar right now and seeing kind of <laughs> how things are uh, are going. I'm assuming, as you mentioned and alluded to, that uh, folks can go on to the uh, NAWI website and probably link from there over to uh, get themselves uh, registered for uh, everything. Yeah, definitely. If you go to NAWI.org slash about slash IQ, and that's spelled out I-C-U-E. Right at the very top, we have a big, bold banner that says, click here to register for the Scuba Show and IQ, and you can get your tickets there. I believe the tickets are still being offered at a bit of a discount, so that's nice. And then if you scroll down, you'll see the list of speakers and topics. We've got our IQ events and promotions, which includes the reception aboard the Queen Mary for $30, and then we've got that uh, raffle that you can enter to win. And Greg, I would encourage you and anyone else who can't attend physically to go ahead and support us in that raffle. And that'll help to grow the program, make this event really special and grow it in the future. Uh, anyone, you don't have to be present to win. 
I like that part. I, I can yeah. I can be wherever I want to be and and oh, still right. win and 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 yeah. then in the Philippines. <laughs> and, yeah, there you go, there you go. I, I love the idea. Love the idea. <laughs> Sounds like an exciting time. Sounds like a, a a lot of fun. And if you are interested at all, be sure and check out the uh, the Nawi website. And uh, as you said, nawi.org slash about slash I-C-U-E and uh, check that out. And I know you've got a thousand and one other things going on. We're going to have to come <laughs> back and uh, check into some of those things and see how things are going at uh, at uh, Nowy headquarters. And as always, Angie, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you, Greg. I always appreciate the time and out there, we're putting a lot of information out, so I really encourage our members and followers to you know, get on social media, get on our website. Every day, we're adding new events and posts, and, and these podcasts are a wonderful way to kind of spread that word as well. So thanks for your time, Greg. Hey, we enjoy doing it, and uh, it's always great to talk to everybody about things happening back in the home office and, and anywhere in the diving world, as we always talk mm-hmm. about things. So uh, appreciate that very, very much. And once again, if uh, if you like what you hear on the uh, the Dive Team Report, be sure and check out uh, check it out on uh, YouTube. We have a YouTube channel there. Check out uh, iTunes and Google Play. And uh, in the very near future, look for uh, a little addition to the uh, NAWI website. We, we're working on that at the, that's just another thing that angie's involved in okay so <laughs> we appreciate that so that's going to wrap it up for this episode of now he's dive team report angie again thanks for joining us and uh, best of luck with the icu my pleasure we'll see you in long beach and if we don't we'll see you soon all right i'm greg martin thanks for listening i'll see you underwater <laughs>